example when we are young we are taught by our trainers look the most important thing in the opening is to develop your pieces as we start growing old and stronger we keep this advice in mind we develop our pieces we do not bring our queen into the game early on we do everything of this but every once in a while we have this moment of thought you know oh, look that there is a pawn that is hanging there why can't i just move my queen this time it must be an exception to the rule and you know good players are able to find these exceptions wonderfully well that's why they have a rating of 27 30 2750 and so on however every once in a while they also fall prey to this really really bad situation where they don't develop their pieces and get mated in brutal style this is what happened in the game between hari krishna and duda in the third round of the prague chess festival that's going on let's have a look straight to the game uh, hari krishna was white and i want you to be in hari krishna shoes in this game it's a very short game but very nice so e4 c5 sicilian knight f3 look hari krishna develops a piece so does uh, duda and everyone by the way uh, should know that jan christoph duda is somewhere around 20 years old okay just 20 and he's polish number 1 he has a rating of 2731 and simply fantastic okay uh, he he is dubbed as one of the future stars in the world of chess hari krishna develops a second piece and so does christoph now goes bishop b5 so hari krishna has developed three pieces always remember that pawn moves in the opening Uh, are useful to develop the pieces so you mustn't make too many pawn moves and hari krishna is following that perfectly he made only one pawn move and rest all of his pieces have been developed small uh, you can say not an inaccuracy but already uh, something where duda said why can't i develop my queen so he puts his queen on c7 it's very ideal for a sicilian position but at the same time he doesn't develop his minor piece okay hari krishna says look my coach has taught me to develop my pieces so he castles so four really nice developing moves uh, sorry by hari krishna knight f3 knight c3 bishop b5 and castles duda makes another move which is like moving his same piece again hari krishna says my bishop is attacked on b5 i know that bishops are many times useful than knights but i am in le- i'm leading in development and i must keep up with that so rook e1 i like the way he plays you know this is the fifth really useful move he has made and christoph uh, duda makes another pawn move so hari krishna says okay let's go back and once again black moves his piece which was already developed so you can see the difference yeah uh, well white is developing all his pieces black is moving his pieces which are already developed but here there is a very very uh, slight trap you know he wants to take on f3 followed by a mate on h2 yeah this is brutal and g3 has to be played many times i mean this is the most common move and then after this knight comes to c6 and later on it makes his way back to c6 so that it can control the d4 square and this is how uh, black has been scoring very well in this position however hari krishna says let me play e5 and this is already the beginning of uh, hari krishna strategy that he has invested in developing his pieces and now he is ready for a tactical fight so now he is threatening to take on d4 followed by queen into g4 black very quickly takes on f3 queen f3 and now when you have said a you must say b and you must take the pawn so knight into e5 queen h5 this is exactly what white wants he wants an open position where his pieces are roaming freely the queen is beautifully placed on h5 rook is looking at the king this is going to be useful uh in the moves to come and black over here 
played the move knight to g6 and hari krishna after the game said this was an inaccuracy uh, very difficult to say this because already it's not so easy to know what's the best move i think d6 perhaps but even after f4 you can sense that how white has a real initiative he may play later on d4 open up more lines knight is jumping to d5 pawn could push towards f5 so a lot of things are happening in this position anyway knight g6 doesn't look so bad uh, to the normal eye hari krishna jumped in with knight to d5 okay attacking the queen on c7 and after queen d6 uh, i'll pose you my first question here what do you play here as white Okay, I hope you had a good think here, and you played in the spirit of what Hari Krishna is doing. That is to develop your pieces. Don't waste time. And so d4, kudos if you could find this move. There is no other idea uh, to this move apart from the fact he wants to develop the bishop on c1. He wants to put it on either you know g5 somewhere. You know he wants to develop. I'm not going to. Uh, tell you what the next move is, but that's the main plan. So C D four, and now once again it's Hari Krishna's move. What do you play here? Pause the video and try to think. Uh, you should be really proud of yourself if you found the move Bishop D two. And as Hari said after the game, this was the move which sort of sealed his win. After this, White is completely better. and after bishop d2 now the next threat is to put the bishop on b4 or to a5 and you can look at how this queen is so awkwardly placed also this knight here everything doesn't seem like a part of a plan while white's position is so very harmonious two rooks connected bishops perfectly placed and also the knight i think b6 was the only move uh, only way to keep the fight going on white is better still but uh, e6 was played and now it's time to finish off your opponent what do you play here as white please pause the video and try to find it out okay when you are winning it pays to be extra careful and so here bishop b4 is possible but uh, better is of course bishop to a5 because now you have knight c7 check coming in and it's simply unstoppable b6 was played pawn was captured and after knight f4 uh, here's my last question if you find this move you are through you know you have played like hari krishna what do you play here as white okay there are uh, plenty of good moves but the strongest one is queen to h4 uh, i hope you didn't miss this mate on d8 square it simply ends the game because now white is going to uh, black is going to lose a piece after bishop e7 he took on e7 queen b6 well if if he would have tried something else like for example f6 then there is knight c7 and you win a rook on a8 uh, and although this knight is sort of trapped you are a rook up so that's totally winning so bishop e7 takes queen b6 knight c8 and after queen f4 white is just a piece up and um, well duda could have resigned but he played on for a few more moves uh doesn't make sense but i'll just show you the moves rook c2 b3 castle rook f d1 the end was nice uh hari krishna knows how to win such positions uh, and here came uh, a nice sacrifice rook into f7 because after king takes there is queen f4 and you lose the rook so a very nice game by hari uh the thing to learn here is that you should be developing all your pieces in the opening and this is a very very basic advice given to you when you were very young but it's so very uh, pertinent you know when you play a game you can see how hari krishna develops two knights then his bishop then he castles moves his rook to the center of the board and finally when black is breaking all the rules he starts a tactical fight and after that you know it was one way traffic uh, this bishop d2 move sealed the deal i hope you enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for further games from prague chess festival it's an exciting event